Hi everyone! In this video, I will show you how to create seamless tile textures in SketchUp. Let's say I want to use a specific tile for my project. I can either use an image of the tile or find a similar material to represent it. To reduce the repetitive effect of tile patterns, it's best to use a variety of tile surface options. In this example, I only have two tiles to work with, but that should be sufficient for demonstrating purposes. I will start by taking a screenshot or saving the image as a JPEG or PNG file. The tile comes in different sizes, so I will choose 600 by 1200 mm for this project. That's a very big tile though. In SketchUp, I will switch to the top view and draw a rectangle of exactly that size. Once the rectangle is created, I can define the grout width, which typically range between 3 to 5 mm. Since these tiles are quite large, I will go definitely with 5 mm. I then duplicate the tile along the side and top, ensuring a 5 mm gap between them to represent the grout. Next, I check how the tiles would typically be laid. In this case, they are laid straight up. But the orientation doesn't matter too much, because textures can always be rotated later on. For the tile surface itself, you can use any image, provided it has enough detail to work with, as a texture. Import the image into SketchUp as a texture, or drag and drop it directly into the workspace. When you actually drag and drop, SketchUp treats the image as an image rather than a texture. So in order to get a texture or convert it, you need to click on the image and click right to explode. Now it becomes immediately a texture and you will find it under colors and model. So once the texture is ready, sample it and apply it to the tile surfaces. The next step is a bit more artistic. You will need to ensure that the tiles are filled neatly, avoiding visible grout lines or overly repeating patterns. So therefore you can scale the material, adjust its direction and so on. As I mentioned earlier, the more unique tiles you have, the less likely the pattern will look repetitive in the end. Continue filling all the tiles until you are happy with the arrangement. Unfortunately, SketchUp 2024 no longer has the convenient rotation function, which is why I'm still using SketchUp 2024, <laughs> sorry, 2023 to create seamless textures. Now that we have filled our tiles, we need to think about the outer grout. Since the bottom tiles will align with the top row, they won't need grout on the bottom edge. The top edge, however, will require a 5mm grout line to avoid double grout. The same logic applies to the left and right side. Choose one side to have grout while the other aligns directly with the tile edge. Next, I will use the rectangle tool to fill the inner surface of the grout. Okay. 
When it comes to grout colors, I typically use the last three whitish tones in SketchUp. If the tiles are white, I recommend a darker grout, and if they are dark, a lighter grout works better. SketchUp doesn't always display sub subtle color differences well, so I will just create three examples using the three whitish tones to show you the variations. So don't worry if you can't see much difference, in difference initially. The effect will be noticeable later when the textures are combined. Let's start with the middle tone, Mercury. As you can see, it doesn't look like it changed much from white to Mercury, but trust me, the color is correctly applied. Next, I will copy the tiles and the surfaces to the side and apply the white grout. And lastly, I do the same using the silver tone. The silver tone is now more noticeably when applied. Now it's time to combine the textures. So I select all the surfaces and edges, click right and choose combine textures. And after clicking yes, the result is a seamless texture. I will repeat the process for the other examples and you will notice the grout color differences. The mercury is actually a bit softer and not so strong in contrast as the white. The silver grout is actually not very visible due to the similar tone of the tiles so I would suggest to use this tone for white tiles. So in that example I think I would go for the mercury grout tone. From here you can just sample this texture and use it on one of your projects or save this file altogether for later purposes. It's easy from here to unjust sample and apply or select a rectangle and place it inside a new file and sample from there. Okay guys, now I hope you are well equipped with creating seamless textures using SketchUp. See you in the next video.